very much. Well, Matt, here we have a 1983 Sinonri. Wonderful. It satisfies the 15 years or older criterion. Uh, 83 in Australia, a very difficult year. It's a year when we had what's known as the Ash Wednesday bushfires. Huge fires across the states of Victoria and New South Wales. But what was made was terrific. Now, we usually start to recall when the level of the wine has fallen to down around here, to that point of curvature. This wine is still quite high. And in many instances, we'd probably recommend not to recall the bottle. However, you've just mentioned that you want to keep this wine for another 20 years, so we probably would recall this. And Matt, the, the only way to tell for sure is to remove the capsule and to inspect visually the quality of the cork. So once Matt takes this capsule off, the rest of the process is irreversible. So there we go. And we have two means, and Matt, maybe you might want to explain what you're doing with the two different techniques of removing the cork. Well, this first one's called an arceau. So basically it goes, the two prongs go on either side of the cork, you release the cork, and at the same time you extract the cork out. They basically act as a gripping mechanism to bring the cork out. The cork is so old and so fragile, so unfortunately if you put a wine key in, such as this, the chance of the cork actually breaking is relatively high. So we use these other mechanisms to extract the cork as well as protecting the wine at the same time. So we don't want cork fragments falling into the wine. This other method too, if the cork, whilst using the arceau, looks like it is relatively fragile and it may break, these two other pieces of equipment are then inverted into the cork and are used simultaneously to extract the cork. So it's a real art and a science at the same time as a surgery. But we'll try the arceau first. So basically, the longest point goes to one side of the cork, the shortest side then on the other, and wiggling it down. And you can really feel the pressure of the cork. If the cork starts to slip, you know you've got an issue. Otherwise, if it stays pretty much firm, then you know the cork is in pretty good condition. From there onwards, you give it a turn. What this is releasing is the pressure on the bottle. The cork is then released. And then at the same time as you turn, you slowly pull the arso out. Now, at this stage, it can get a little bit suspicious. So what I tend to do here, once it's halfway out, is usually hold and pinch the side of the arso and turn at the same time, very slowly. And you can have a check from here. You can see the cork is pretty much there extracted, so there is no broken cork in there at all. And in one slow movement, extract the cork. The instant the cork is removed, we spray in an inert gas cover to create a, a, a protective layer above the surface of the wine. We then insert a, if you like, a, a temporary cork, temporary filling, which ordinarily stays on the top of the bottle. <laughs> and then we get a glass and the all-important assessment takes place. Uh, these are sometimes known as well as a, a butler's thief. They have many different names in many different countries. Uh, we're here though in San Francisco, so the name mentioned earlier is totally appropriate. For 15 mil or less of that beautiful 1983 Sinonri, we'll just give that another little squirt, not necessarily at this point, but just a little bit to protect it during this assessment phase. There we go. Now, because the wine has been in that bottle for, what, uh, 26 years, over a quarter of a century, you don't want to create an incorrect first impression. So we give the wine a little bit of a shake, a little bit of an awakening. Uh, the cover, a little bit dull and a bit murky, but then, as expected, this wine's been shaken up in transit. But it has a brightness to it, and the colour is true to the colour of that 83 vintage. Smelling very, very nice indeed. So, if you were to go purely on the aromatics, this is as it should be for an 83 Sinonre. But the all-important test... Magnificent. Everything that wine should be for that vintage. Now, it doesn't have to be the world's best example of the 83, but it has to be of an acceptable level or higher. And this is well and truly surpassed that point. So we have no hesitation at all in certifying that bottle. 
But before doing so, Matt will get the current release, uh, Sinonre, and he'll now top it back to just above the original fill height. And what is the current release? The what current vintage? release of this particular line is the 2005, which was released in most countries in uh, May of this year.